Hey guys, Zero Productions here, and just to, before I start this video, there is a, going to be a link in the description below to my friend Hebra's channel. There you can check out his own version of his uh, his thoughts on this. We are doing like a sort of collabs uh, coming up where you like we'll both talk about the same video and support each other, and like we'll we'll both talk about the same topic and same article, and we'll just make our have different opinions. So if you want to see other opinion other people's opinions on this, make sure to check out his channel. And yeah, so basically, um, the 3DS has been dealing with probably um, been having a very weird, like a uh, very weird kind of uh, what's the word? Like, mo I guess the momentum has just been dropping in the 3DS because of the Switch. Not that many people are interested in it because of the Switch, and T Nintendo's trying new things like the 2DS XL, and that might work. It might not to keep the 3DS afloat. But basically, um, there's been these things that have been coming um, coming out, where hacked 3DS, three hacked 3DSs, which in case you don't know, they're basically just like um, pirated kind of 3DSs. And basically, what ended up happening was this week it was reported that 3DS hacking communities were banned over. Like, if you own one of these, you are, are probably banned from it. Let me quote them. This week, 3DS hacking communities are clamoring over a so-called ban wave that permanently knocks systems offline. On forums like GBA, Temp, Reddit, and 4chan, there are dozens of pages where people are trying to figure out their systems have been banned. According to online reports, users hit by the ban- man, by the ban- by the ban hammer, sorry about that, are seeing an- Error code 0020102 when they try to load up, load up their friends list. So basically, in case you don't know, what Nintendo did was that um, if you are using, if the UR detectives use a pirated 3DS to play pirated like emulators and all that, you will not be able to ask stuff, access stuff like the general uh, eShop, uh, Miiverse, and friends list and that kind of stuff. So, you should still have access to your 3DS and still be able to play games on it, but pretty much you're banned from using any of the Nintendo services. So, I'm gonna uh, stretch this video longer to get my thoughts on this, and personally, I think this is a good move, because, ba like, um, pirating is, uh, pirating, like, uh, products is, like, a hard thing for people to avoid because lots of people probably just can't afford a 3ds and they have to um and they have to do it like and they have to like get a pirated one and well i do have to think that pirated is wrong pirating is wrong that's not really what goes through your mind when you um they, they think it's wrong it's usually just you really want to play this game but you just can't don't have the money or you can't get this product so you just gotta deal with what you got so basically, um, I think that, um, that, like, getting dump cartridges is still, like, and emulators, I feel like emulators should be allowed, but pretty much I, I agree with most of, um, Nintendo's thoughts on this. Uh, um, the, uh, the article also says at the bottom, banned users still can see, uh, still can use their systems, but are prohibited from playing online or using services like Miiverse. Some players say they're calling Nintendo support hotline to plead for their systems or using multiple 3DS systems to bypass the bans. Others, meanwhile, are having a more intense reaction to turn events. And there is then this there's also a picture, I'll have it here, where this person is talking about how Netflix is banned, Hulu is banned, anything that it can pretty much connect to the internet is out like a light. That is that that yeah. So 3DS is are losing momentum, but hacked hacked 3DSs are definitely on on the rise. And now this pretty much what Nintendo just did is going to eradicate them for good. 3DS prices are coming down. If you really desperately want to play a 3DS just for the game, if you want to pay just for the games, you can probably buy a 2DS for like ninety dollars, and it comes with like Mario Kart 7. If you want the 3D effect. 3DS X, uh, 3D, the 3DS original is also like $120, so you can just get that. I don't see the point in pirating a Nintendo, um, a 3DS. Um, like, you can, 
if you really, really want to play games for free, you, you'd you probably be better off just getting an emulator on the PC, which I don't, I don't like, um, I don't support emulation of, um, things that you can, things that you're, like, are supported and you're supposed to buy, but still, um, if you're gonna emulate something, you should probably do it, do it the safe way on the PC, but again, don't emulate anything by, without buying the original. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And make sure to check out all the links like the article in the description below and also Hebra's channel in the description below. Alright guys, see you.